Ahoy! It's good to have you back and I promise you today's video is going to be really amazing because we got a spanking new place to shoot some lovely photos for the beautiful Cindy in Malaysia newest mall, Lalapod. Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm a psychology student and a model as well. Follow me on my Instagram. Hope you enjoy the video. The first place you got to be if you're at Lalaport is come up to atrium level 4. Head out to this open air park here that they have and check that out. Menara PNB 118 is right at the back. This is a great place if you want to try out landscape photography. And Cindy, I was thinking that you should stand here and do two poses. I know I'm going to be in trouble. Just do your post, don't worry. All right. I'm going to point your attention to this. This is 3 p.m. now in the Malaysian sun. Two things you must notice, that my shadow goes there and it's a really dark shadow. When you see a shadow this much, this dark, you know that the sun is just there. All right, so I'll try to do this natural lighting the best I can. I'm going to go with F4 so that I can still see the building at the back. No point to blow it off that much. And then my ISO is 100, All right, that's great. Meter this to almost zero. So my shutter speed is now clocking at one over a thousand. And I wonder with the dynamic range that I have whether I can still see the blue sky and Cindy's face bright enough. Never use somebody else's camera and not check. Sunday we just got me into sports mode with Cindy. Right, so whenever I'm shooting portrait, I always make sure that my focusing mode is AFS. Auto area if I don't have the eye focus turned on and then move the focus point to Cindy's eyes and that's beautiful. I need you to face to the front. Your face to the front. That's good. That's beautiful. One, two, go. Okay, take a look at this. This is one of the worst way to shoot photo because you cannot descend the background. You know, it's just not detailed enough. There's no contrast at the background. Of course, we can see the Monara PNB at the back and there's not enough of exposure on you. Right, so remember I was telling you about the shadow. Let me just go back to the shadow and explain to you. Always been training photographers to look at the darkness of the shadow. This is about like five stops darkness, okay? I recently did a lesson about stop differences where you need to know how bright that is. This is not what this is about. You must now know that if you do this natural lighting, two things can happen. You can have seen the correctly exposed and then lose all the details in the background or you can have the details in the background and not have Cindy. So you need to fire a flash. How much of power? What mode to use? Simple. Okay, so do two things. Plug in the flash, turn it on. Don't even bother with TTL. Go to mode, turn it on manual, keep this on full 101 manual mode. And then head onto your camera, turn on active delighting, whatever you call it in your brains, and turn this on to extra high. Wait, I gotta figure out where this is. Yeah, Sandeep got his to off. So I'm gonna go on extra high. All right, let's try that. Fall towards me. That's good. One, two, and go. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Take a look at this shot. I won't believe that with full power is overexposed. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lower the F number a little bit more at F2.8 and go as high as 5,000 on the shutter speed and boom. Wow, give me another pose. This is fantastic. Oh my God, this is fantastic. I've got to show you this and go into the habit of showing your model what you have taken or your subject what you have taken so they are motivated to do. Look at that. Isn't this nice? We can yeah, see like the that. clouds now, right? So what I want you to do is that you should need to look taller. So have one leg which is front of the camera and then push this up so that you have to turn your shoulder a little bit, otherwise it's just going to be that side. Okay. okay, let's try that. But we can vary a few poses. So the reason I suggested this pose to you is so that you look synonymous with the building at the back. Okay, Okay. just let's do a few. Okay, I know what you were thinking. Like, what if I want to shoot my subject moving, I don't want to pose them. So that was what I suggested to Cindy. Cindy, can I quickly see what you're going to do? All right. All right so she's going to do that and then you're going to move, you're going to change, right? And then change again. So she's going to do like five to six continuous poses. To do this, yes, 
Sandeep was right. You need to go to your autofocus and change it to continuous and then tracks in this movement by holding down your shutter release button. So if you're used to having your thumb pressing the AF button at the back, you can do that too. Okay. All right, let me show you an example. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, come in. You're not in frame. Right. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right. So when you reach over the other side. Okay, so if you're a photographer, it's important for you to tell your model the expectation. So one of the things I realize is when photographers and their crew are looking for angles and composition and how to light that shot, that may take 10 to 15 minutes. So as a model, what would be great is that you know, you ask them, hey, where are we going to be shooting? Where are you going to be? I'll be here and you're going to be there. So you have to take that 15 minutes instead of not knowing what to do. You can come up to here and start doing poses. So you can say like, hey, you want me to stand up or, oh, you want me down so you can actually shoot up. So maybe I can do poses like this, poses like this. So you can try those poses. So when the crew and the photographer is ready to shoot, you got all that. Um, very frequently, I notice that models go like, okay, I got to shoot now. Right, poses, great. Okay, I've got to think of poses. That's a bit too time wasted, right? So. You can be here. We want to get that background. Okay. Right, let's see how that turns out to be. Okay. Just that little bit, that's beautiful. Oh, I like this. That's good, we got one. Wow, see, the settings is all still the same. It's just that the active delighting stepped in and helped me with the background exposure. So I'm gonna step that down a little bit. When you go too high, sometimes you get that halo now. So I'm going to head on to my active D lighting and bring that down one notch. We don't need it that much now because the sun is there. I'm going to take this shot anyway, despite people at the back. Oh, see, I don't have enough light now. So I'm going to go easy on my shutter speed at about 3,200. Let's go. Right, okay. So you notice that if you do it this way, you're gonna have a lot of energy on this hand. Yeah. That will make come. Stand up for a while, I'll show you how you can do this. All right. Here's what you do. Don't worry about this first. Make sure that this is comfortable. So in the quest of you trying to get this long, so this became very hard and there's a lot of strength here. So that shows in the post. So what I want you to do is just lean here like so, right? And then this doesn't need to be long because your leg is already long, not my leg. My leg, no matter what I do, is still looking short. So what you can do is that put it this way. I'll take a look at it. I'll put it this way. That's all. Right? Don't need to push it too much. Okay. Just down a little bit. Okay? And that's what I do all the time. I guide the subject. I show them what to do. Of course, I look like shit when I do it. But when they do it, it's going to look amazing. Right. So much better. Okay. So I can see the sun creeping out from the curve of this architecture facade of Lalaport. And with a high F number, that sun is going to create a starburst. So my F number should be as high as F10. And let's look at the exposure meter. Right. Okay, this is good. Right. Let me just take a shot and show you how underexposed I see this. No sun. Oh, now I know why. There's a huge cloud blocking it that diffuses it. The cloud is a little bit like an umbrella. 
for that starburst to work, you need to have an undiffused sun. So that doesn't happen. See that? I don't get it anymore. I don't even... You can always squint your eye and see whether you see a sun. You don't see a sun. You don't see that sparkle, it's just a bloom. Right, so I'm not going to stand here and wait. We have a thousand places to shoot here. So Cindy, stand where that girl is and let's see what the sunlight does to you and your head. So I'm going to do a high F number shot. This is at F22. Don't squint, look at me direct. Your leg is a little bit too side. Yeah, that's good. That's nice, Cindy. And one, two, go. Good. That's an F22. Let's see how it looks like when I blur this all the way to this lens F28. Right, now that's super overexposed. I'm going to bring this down to mid-tone at a shutter speed of a thousand. Again, don't squint, don't smile, do nothing, relax your forehead. When you hear two, you do it. And one, two, good. So let's compare these two shots. This is at f2.8 and this is at f22. Right, of course the exposure varies a little bit. I just can't wait to go back to the studio, use the LCD panel, bigger one, and zoom in and see how these two shots differ. And I'm going to swing this right up to f22. Okay, that's my nice. face there. Change hand. Right, that's nice. Right, that's good. I like this pose. One, two, get. Wow, this is really nice. Can you be here? I just need that sun, sunlight on you. Okay. Okay, stand here. Don't move. Want to have a bit of that light at the back. All okay, right. just, yeah, just look straight. Just look straight. You don't need to pose for me. I just want you to do something like that maybe. Okay. You know, like that Michael Jackson thing. Right. Yeah, that's good. All right, don't do now. You're going to look weird. When I say two, you do that. So this is at F22. And it's so underexposed, I need to raise my ISO up to 2000. And then increase my shutter speed to 1 over 6 of a second. Right, so I'm going to change my focusing mode. Okay, so it's on auto area, great. Okay, that's good. Are you ready? And one, two, go. Good. So ever since I got this iPhone 13 and I did this episode tutorial thing with Millet, our model, I just can't wait to see in most situations how the iPhone 13 works compared to my mirrorless camera. Okay, push this leg longer and that's nice. Okay, here's the annoying thing. Most cameras, professional cameras, have got this polarizing filter at the front to cut down light desirably and that makes the screen unviewable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tap on here, push this really near to the handrail and then slide this little sun icon up until Cindy looks amazing and boom, done. Can't wait to go back and compare this side by side on my LCD panel in the studio and see how well this does compared to the mirrorless camera. Hey viewers, take a look at this series of photos taken with my iPhone 13 mini. These shots in particular, pretty good compared to the mirrorless ones, don't you agree? You know what I was thinking, we should dedicate an episode and really put the smartphone these days and head-to-head -head challenge with the mirrorless cameras that we have in the studio. I want to see how they stack up in the coming episode. Hey, it's good to have you watching this video. I truly enjoyed this outing here with Cindy. But I need you to do something. Subscribe to our channel. I've noticed that many of you watch our videos, but you don't subscribe. When you don't subscribe, look at our subscription numbers. That's pretty sad, isn't it? And lastly, head on to my e-learning website here. Check out my e-learning courses, my premium courses, and even better, the all access. I hope I get your support. Till then, bye. Bye. She has to <laughs> push me to say bye. Come in, say bye. Bye. Hey, today's video is going to be an exciting one because we got a new location to shoot with the lovely Cindy. In my... Okay, sorry. It's alright. Don't need to apologize. We all make mistakes. You make it more, no one minds because you're pretty. I make it more, you're going to spit on my face, right? Hey, today's episode is going to be an exciting one because we have... Exciting one because we're going to shoot... <laughs> Alright, sorry. 
they are all tired. <laughs> <laughs> we are not actually tired. Are we? No. No, are you tired? Are you tired? We haven't started work yet.